Welcome back to The One Minute Barber. Now, I am so pleased to hear that so many of you are getting on very well at cutting your own hair at home. But today, I wanna to give a special mention to one YouTuber, a man named Arlo Guthrie, also known as The Gadget Man. He's cut his own hair using my techniques and posted it on YouTube. So let's have a look at his channel first of all. So here's the brave YouTuber in question, Arlo Guthrie. Arlo's picking up a lot of views on his channel. You can see some of his videos here, 25,000 views on Christmas lights, 16,000 views on smartwatches, and he's quite a likable guy. He's got deadpan sense of humor, and um, I can imagine that he gets a lot of viewing time on his videos. So let's have a look at Arlo doing a one minute barber home haircut. So as we watch along, there's gonna be a few pitfalls. I'm gonna go over how you could possibly avoid those mistakes, but there's no cutting for me on this occasion, so I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna enjoy the video with a coffee. I'm sitting here absolutely shitting myself about filming this review because it involves something I've never tried before and there's the potential for things to go badly wrong. Well, it can, if you don't stick to the plan. Review the Babyliss for Men Super Clipper XTP Model 7475RU, which I bought the other day because there's still no sign of my barber opening up again. That's a totally acceptable clipper to use, uh, not too expensive. And like he said, the barber may not be open for a while, so you decide. About twice a year, I'd be inclined to take myself down to a farm where they could just wrestle me to the ground and get the shears out. But I've always wondered whether it's a job I could do myself. And if ever there's a good time to find out, it's now. I mean, it's not like I'm going to be seen out in public for a couple of months yet. So I googled cut your own hair and I came across a bloke called Michael Holm demonstrating how it's done. I should probably mention that Michael isn't just some have-a-go hero off the internet. He was the finalist in Scotland's Best Barber 2019 and that's good enough for me. One of the finalists, me. one of six. I've watched his video about 37 times now, I've made some notes and I've put together the equipment I'm going to need to get the job done. A uh, couple of mirrors. Okay, so a couple of mirrors, that's good. A uh, comb. He's got his comb. Pair of scissors. Not the best scissors, but it is a home this. haircut. And this He's rather got his new natty reverse head umbrella to catch the hair. This thing's going to be a problem. Oh, and I got I can, t I can tell that already. One of these in case it all goes horribly wrong. <laughs> the coward's way out. He's got a backup plan. I love this guy. Well, here I go. Let's go. I'm only going to get it. one take at this. Good news Do is it. that if I screw it up, the only answer will be to cut the whole lot off. And at least I'll get to know what it feels like to be Bruce Willis. Michael says to start by doing the sides with a number two. I'm not entirely sure I'm feeling quite that brave. One, two, so I'm going to start with a three. Yeah, even uh, a five is going to make a massive goes. impact here. His hair is very long, so yeah, a three is going to take heaps off. He's doing the right thing, he's going straight up the sides. Oh my god. So he's a little bit shocked. <laughs> Christ. Yes. Oh my god. Yeah. When you go down with a clipper on long hair, it can be quite dramatic initially. Now we can't see where his mirrors are set up here. My daughter's just come in. <laughs> Not at a good point. <laughs> oh dear. Now I wouldn't say this is my finest hour, but I think once the top comes off, it'll start looking. Well, better. we're getting there with this haircut, Arlo. You're, you're, you're coming on. That's it. Now he's going over those areas uh, quite a fair bit around the ears okay, in the back. So. Michael then says use number four on the top and comb the hair forward. Oh, and I can always go down to a number three if it uh, if it doesn't work. There we go. You can always be cautious. Start Instead with a longer number. Back. 
And if that doesn't take much off, which it's not, yeah. then go down to another three. I didn't three. think it would. So the three is going to definitely have an impact here. Um, still got quite a long way to go, but it's not looking quite so daft. I wouldn't try and make it any shorter That's than fine. that. I like I the length of that. Just of that. Um, but maybe just tidy up the fringe, yeah, and then we just look at some blending in. But um, uh, there was quite a lot of hair to cut off there, so I think I'm going to go back to the sides again. Now, this is where Arlo makes a little error. He starts going up the grain uh, beyond the parietal ridge, that ridge that sticks out, uh, which makes his hair cut a little bit tighter, and you'll see at the end. It's not the end um, of the world, but it just looks a little bit tighter than next. it needs to be. Uh, fade back to, oh no, I'm not gonna go number one. Taper the sides from top to bottom with a number two. One, two, so here we go. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, so he should ideally work um, down the way, but oops, unfortunately, a bit more he works up the way, and that's what this takes it really tight on dangerous. those areas just above the parietal ridge. I'm gonna have to go again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go and confer with the family. Uh, well, the feedback from the family is not as bad as it could have been. A um, little bit of wispy at the back that still has to go, and um, it's a bit lopsided because... I'm you can see on the right hand side there just how tight it's become side. because he's gone up the way slightly rather than just sticking to just coming down the way. This is what you would also do on the crown is just come oh, down like yeah. this on the crown, going down with the grain to blend in. The moment you start going up, you're, you're making it tighter. Well, so far so good. He doesn't need to find somewhere else to live, but he's now working on neatening up around the sides. Just for just to lightly taper the edges, the number one. Let's see how Arlo gets on with this. Any mistakes can be glaring when you're. Oh! Oh! Bloody hell! No! 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 Oh, oh dear. my god. Oh dear. Not the end of the well, world. A bit of a disaster, this yeah? can be fixed. It can be fixed. It's very easy when you're just uh, doing the. Oh my god, that's why. I forgot to put the guy So he needs on. to put one on and try and fade this out now. Try and blend out this mistake. Just go slightly higher with the one. Not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Well, I for think a home that's haircut. about as good as I'm going to get it. So there we go. My first time cutting my own hair. And although it's a tad shorter than I would have liked, overall, it's turned out a little bit better than well I done, expected. Arlo. But I think it might be a bit like losing your virginity. It's more fun the second time, and you should get better at be. it. My biggest mistakes? Well,. The really big one was forgetting to put the number two hair guard back on after doing the edges, which meant I took a huge chunk out of the that side was a chunk. and had to cut the rest a but lot he did shorter recover than well. I wanted to hide the mistake. This thing really is quite benign with a number eight guard on it, but without a guard it's vicious and you can make a hell of a mess very, very quickly. My second mistake was not having a hand mirror so I could watch the back as I cut it. I had to do that largely by feel. So not having a good mirror set up is probably the biggest problem you're gonna have. You need two great big mirrors and you need to be able to see from one mirror to the other so that you can see the back and the sides of your head. On occasion when I've been making these videos, I need to get the right camera angle and the camera is right where I want my mirror to be. So I need to use just the viewfinder of the camera and it becomes very difficult to see what I'm doing. So it's hard for me without a mirror. If you're doing your own hair, then you really need to get a, a good mirror set up. That would be my advice. But listen, I really enjoyed Arlo's video. He's quite funny. He's got deadpan sense of humor and I enjoyed his channel. So go and have a look at the gadget man, Arlo Guthrie. The link's in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.